Hi everyone, this is Molly with New Order. I'm going to start our Wednesday webinar and today we will be reviewing delivery windows along with ship start and ship end dates. So to manage your delivery windows, this is done on the admin side of the platform. So you'll see this under product data and settings and go to delivery windows. So there are a couple different preferences. First, you'll see that you have the ability to set a default length of a ship window. So depending on your business and how you want to default, we do have it set to 30 days, but this is where you can go in and for example, if you wanted it to be two weeks, you could put 14 or if you wanted to push it past 30 days and put 45. So whenever you set up a delivery window, it will automatically default to 30 days out as this example displays. Then we have a minimum length of ship window. So if you were creating a delivery window, it would at least need to have one day in there so from the first to the second, as an example, instead of the first to the first. Now, scrolling down, this is where you can manage your delivery windows. So the benefit of setting default delivery windows, it is easier for brand users, so sales reps, to have a default ship window set and for buyers to view the default delivery window. So when a brand user or a buyer logs in, it will have the set date, as you can see right here, June 1st to June 30th, instead of having the confusion of needing to set a delivery window for each product. So this can also be done in bulk, which I will show you on the wholesale side of the platform, and also walk you through what this looks like. So what I have done here is I added 12 months, and when you add this, it adds each month of the year to have a delivery window. Or, you can add in a one-off and set that. So if you had, a, instead of having it be set to the first and the 30th of each month, if you had a little bit different windows that need to be set, for example, if you wanted the 13th to the 12th, again, this is going to be 30 days, and having special delivery windows is easier to manage on the admin side and then view it in wholesale. So if I scroll down, you'll see that I have set up a few of the delivery windows to default as pre-book. So the benefit of setting a delivery window to pre-book, in the system, this is basically expressing that there does not need to be inventory against this delivery window. Then over here, which I think is a really cool feature, you have the ability to set an expiration date for your pre-book delivery. So if you have a hard cutoff date for order deadlines for your pre-books, you could set that date so then on the brand side and on the buyer side, once that expiration date has set, you will no longer be able to use that delivery window against the products. After you've set these delivery windows, just make sure you save. And also note that you can X out and delete a delivery window and it then is removed. 
So I'm now going to access the wholesale side of the platform. I'm going to browse products so you can see what this looks like. So you'll notice if I click on a product over to the right hand side, you can select a delivery. So this is where you have a drop down, which will include all of the delivery windows that are set. Then at the bottom, you'll notice you have pre-book. So as I select pre-book, you'll notice that the inventory moved away. Since you, when you're creating pre-book orders, you're not placing against inventory. So visually, this is much easier to have set delivery dates instead of going in each time and applying that delivery window to a product. So please note it will default to the first one set on the admin side. So here, for example, clicking on a product, it is set to June 1 to June 30. When adding delivery windows, you still do have the ability to choose the date range. It will just always display all the way at the bottom of the delivery scroll. So I wanna show you also what this would look like within your working order. So if I go in and add a few products to my shopping bag, I then can go in to items and deliveries and set the delivery. So if I wanted this wrap dress to push out to August 1st to August 31st, I could select to only change the delivery window for this product, or I could set this for all products in this order, or assign it to a specific delivery. So if I do this product only, I'm going to apply that. And then over to the left-hand side, you will notice I have two deliveries. So this is how to manage your delivery windows and review the ship start and end dates on the wholesale side of the platform. So that is the full webinar and we will definitely upload this into our help center so anyone can go back and further review. Thank you for attending today.